Okay, I have a follow-up question though. Um, some of the botanicals that we sent you are actually used for cooking. Does Distillera have a, a restaurant? Do you serve food there? Yes. In Distilla? Yes, we do. Yes. There, there are two botanicals. Uh, there's the calamansi and then the sile. Have you tried that with food? Not yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I will have to try that. <laughs> Hola, Alberto. Hi, Jose. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Fine, fine. Stay We're safe. still working. Yeah, we're still working. Eh? You yes. never stop working. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, That's yeah, good. We stay safe. So, well, thank you for your time. Uh, as you know, we will uh, do a series. Um, this is actually our first uh, because of the situation. This is going to be our first Zoom uh, recorded call. We will edit okay. this call. So, you know, it's not live. We are not transmitting this live to anyone. We will be editing it. Okay. Um, it's an opportunity. We will be, in, you know, inviting guests, make announcements. And I think this is a good opportunity to announce uh, Crows Iberica. Um, you know, yeah, so we are going to announce uh, uh, the new company, Crows Iberica. And we will introduce uh, Alvaro. And then Alvaro will introduce you as our, okay. you know, our uh, production partner in, uh, in Spain. And then okay. you, can, you can talk a little bit about the Stila and then show. And what's nice here is, you know, you don't have to speak in English. You can speak in Spanish because, in fact, it's good okay. that you speak in Spanish and Alvaro can translate. Okay. You know, so okay that, yeah, so that's good. But you know, there's nothing very strict. It's very casual. Don't worry. Okay. You know. <laughs> no, the point. <laughs> By the way, uh, the other person here is John Joe Joseph. He is with our Hi, team in Manila, Hi. and uh, we we are. He's the one behind this, and the person who's not in the camera is uh, Iken. He's uh, our director. <laughs> and producer <laughs> okay so uh, you'll see him one of these days um, okay okay hi everyone this is the first of a series of cross talk that we will be inviting various guests in the industry of distilling and brewing uh, and things related to to distilling and brewing in the Philippines and in the world so here we have uh, an announcement that we will be making that um, we have now a new partner in Spain. We have incorporated uh, recently, very recently, uh, during the lockdown actually, um, Crows Iberica. Our partner is here with us, Alvaro Al Arguelles. Alvaro. Hi everyone, hola a todos. Um, this coronavirus didn't stop us from starting Cruz Iberica, we're still working, we're still uh, on the process of bringing crows to, to Spain. And here with us, we have uh, Alberto from Destila, our production partner, who is in charge uh, of uh, making the process of Cruz Iberica together with us in, here in Spain, in Madrid. Hello, Alberto. Hi. Okay. Um... Uh, permitting me, let me introduce uh, Destila, who we are, what we, what we do here uh, in Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, permitting me introduciros a Destila, qué es lo que hacemos, quiénes somos. Eh, Destila nació o se creó como una empresa enfocada a la formación, una empresa que queríamos eh, integrar todos los aspectos desde eh, la coctelería y el mundo de la restauración hasta la producción sobre los destilados, bebidas espirituosas y en consecuencia creamos una industria que bajo el mismo techo tenemos una escuela de formación, una destilería y por supuesto una zona de catas para que nuestros clientes y alumnos puedan probar, degustar y aprender sobre este sector. Um, Alberto, maybe Álvaro can translate the best yeah. he could. <laughs> well, what Alberto said is that uh, the destila started uh, as, a, um, as a more like an education uh, company like uh, educating people in the industry of spirits and after the works uh, I mean afterwards they develop uh, um, their own distill 
So they uh, started producing uh, products for people who wanted to distill and didn't have the infrastructure in, the, in their places. So now the company has those two, um, I don't know how to say, those two ways of, of in the business, mm -hmm. in the distilling process and making products for, for people who wants to distill products and also the educational uh, part also. By the way, we have John Joe Joseph with us, who is the head of our sales and marketing and Crow's Craft Brewing and Distilling Manila. Mm -hmm. So uh, I actually have a question. Um, I'm sure our viewers want to know, where exactly in Spain is the distillery? So we are located in Madrid, uh, mm -hmm. in the capital. Um, so it's a very important thing because we are the first distillery uh, located in Madrid capital. Fantastic. Awesome. That's First great. and the only for now. First and the only, yes. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, are you going to take us on a tour? On the tour of the distillery? Can Sorry, you show yes. us? A, yeah. Yes, yes, excuse me. <laughs> Let's just stop yeah. there. That's okay. No problem. Sorry. No problem. Okay. I can show you the distillery. Let me change the camera. Oh, Did you beautiful. see? Yes, yes, yes. beautiful. It's a very big complex. How big is the place? How big is the uh, distillery? The, the place is uh, 600 uh, uh, meters. Square, mm -hmm. um, square meters, yeah. Square, square meters. meters, but the distillery has 2,000 and uh, 500 liters. Wow, that's wow. a lot. Beautiful. It's too big for an artisanal distillery. <laughs> yes, it's very big. So about how many okay. bottles can be produced? How many bottles of Crow's gin can be produced there? It depends. Depends about what uh, product do you want to produce. Mm, but maybe between, if we are talking about gin, about uh, for what, we can do maybe between 200 and 2,000 bottles. Wow. Beautiful. Per bat. That's Remember that's that gorgeous. one bottle? One batch has been seven hours. Alberto, can you show us closer to the still and, and, and maybe show us yes. what, how, how to make, for example, a spirit like gin? Okay, maybe I, uh, can I change the, the camera? Sure, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Go ahead. It's easier to show you uh, it's uh, part of the still. Uh, as you know, let me explain in Spanish. Maybe you know better than me the <laughs> technical word. Sure, sure. And also, Let's, also the, the history of the steel is really interesting, of that uh, steel. Yes. For sure. Um, esto fue una, es un alambique. Lo que estamos viendo aquí es un alambique. It's a pot steel. Uh, la parte de alambique, la caldera, esta, la parte de caldera que llegaría desde esta brida hasta la parte de abajo, Es una caldera de 1961. I know you want to translate at the same time, maybe Alvaro. Alvaro. Or... Well, yeah, this pot still is from uh, 1961. Wow. 1961. Okay. La, el, el fue por nosotros, por Steel, es esta empresa de aquí, que es uno de los socios de, de Stila. Y eh, este originalmente esta alambique hacía brandy en Tomelloso. It's close to Madrid. I la see. parte de arriba es relativa, es nueva, por supuesto no pudimos recuperarla y lo que hemos intentado es eh, mantener el estilo y la forma de construcción en la que se hizo este alambique. Alambique que se hizo totalmente a mano, a base de martillazos con remaches, no hay Beautiful. soldaduras. Por supuesto la camisa que es lo que mantiene, eh, nos ayuda a mantener mejor la temperatura y por legislación evita quemarse con alambique, pues es, es nuevo. Antiguamente no se utilizaba. So Entonces, Alvaro. nuestra... Yeah, so, <coughs> this, this pot still was uh, handcrafted, uh, as, as we said, in 1961. And it was used uh, before, but uh, to distill brandy, also a very common product in the Philippines. And it was made by Tomsa de Steel. Tomsa de Steel is a partner of the Stila in, in, in Spain. And they were the ones um, remodeling this pot steel, which is the, what they tried is to, to preserve the, the antique look of the pot steel. 
the um, the upper part is new because they couldn't uh, they couldn't preserve the old one, but all the other parts are handcrafted and uh, handmade. And, and the original ones, yeah, handmade. Beautiful. Okay, Alberto. Aquí es donde empezaría entonces el proceso de la destilación. Continuaríamos con la destilería o el proceso de destilación con esta cesta de infusionado. Eh, a partir de aquí toda la maquinaria que vais a ver o los equipos auxiliares son nuevos y, y, y pensados específicamente para que opere con nuestras directrices y bajo eh, nuestros requisitos técnicos. Lo que vemos aquí en la parte izquierda es una cesta de infusionado. Básicamente lo que buscamos con este eh, equipo es poder darle un eh, toque sobre todo aromatizante al producto que destilemos. Si estamos hablando de ginebra, pues en este caso lo que haríamos es por la parte de arriba introduciríamos botánicos que nos interesen eh, reflejar en el producto final, que nos interese eh, que aportasen sus aromas al destilado. So that's basically, yeah, in English, that's the botanical basket. So you, you put botanicals yes. inside. It gives yes, the taste basket. and aroma for the gin, correct? Yes, right. Okay. Okay. Esta parte de la destilería se podría utilizar o no. El cliente es quien, o el cliente, o la fórmula que estamos buscando es lo que determina si lo utilizaríamos. Una vez pasamos la cesta infusionado, llegaríamos a la columna de destilación también una columna en cobre. Esta columna está compuesta por ocho platos. Cada ventanita es, eh, es, un, es un plato. Lo que, para la gente que no conozca mucho esta tecnología, lo que nos ayuda a cada plato es buscar una destilación equivalente a lo que conseguimos con un alambique. Por supuesto, okay. no tiene el mismo rendimiento. Yes. Yeah, so basically the column still, it's a, it's a hybrid still. So you can use the different plates and you have eight plates so that you can either open or close to refine the stripping of alcohol from the gin uh, exactly. as, you, yes. as you purify the spirit, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, el plato que elijamos también dependerá de la fórmula del producto final que estamos buscando. Recordar que eh, cada plato nos permite rectificar, como has comentado, José, el, el, el producto que estamos destilando. La última parte de la columna sería este tramo de aquí. Esa parte es el condensador. Una vez el destilado va subiendo por la columna en forma de vapor, aquí se condensa y convertimos ese vapor en líquido. Es decir, eh, estaríamos con un intercambio de agua más. Funciona como un intercambiador de, de tubos concéntricos de agua. Aquí el producto ya sale. So the section on the very top of the column is called the condenser, where the vapors from the column, after passing the eight stages, goes up and it condenses into liquid form. Correct? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Una vez el producto está condensado, ya obtendríamos el líquido, en este caso estaríamos hablando de la ginebra, que fundamentalmente... By the way, before, before proceeding... The word Ginebra, for those people who, you know, from the Philippines, Ginebra means gin. And I'm not, we're, yeah, not, yes. talking about, we're <laughs> not talking about the brand Ginebra. Ginebra San Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make that clear. I want to make that clear. It's Ginebra in means Spain. gin <laughs> in Spain. <Yes. laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. Spain, gin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Aquí lo que, ten, lo que podemos ver aquí es el control de esos platos. Cada una de estas válvulas activa o desactiva el reflujo de esos platos. El producto, la gin destilada, saldría por este eh, tubo de aquí y pasa, pasaría por un intercambiador de placas. Esto es un intercambiador de placas para enfriarla. Una vez que la hemos enfriado ya llegaría a, a esta parte, al sifón, es una especie de, de sifón, donde nosotros hacemos las pruebas. Tenemos, medimos la gradación alcohólica. Ok, so when, we, when it exits the condenser, it passes through a manifold uh, and then it, it, it cools down. So there's like a chilling uh, area where it cools yeah. down the liquid. Correct, yes? Yes. Ok. And then, and then we check the final product here. Before okay. to 
to take in a, a ABC. I don't know yes. in English. Yes. A, yeah. The, a, is that what you call the parrot? The parrot? In English, I think yeah. that's what they call a parrot, where it comes out, the, the liquid comes out, and you measure the alcohol content. You want to know yes. uh, the, the alcohol by volume. So you know how much, whether it's 40%, 50%, or 60% alcohol. Yes. Normalmente, en una gin, la graduación que sueles obtener en esta destilería, eh, bueno, recordar que, el, que en el proceso de destilado tenemos cabezas, cuerpo o corazón y colas. Las cabezas se suelen retirar pues, porque tienen un grado alto de metanol y además arrastra, es, es la primera parte de tu, de tu macerado que, que eh, todavía no está limpio, te arrastra residuos de las anteriores destilaciones. Ese, es, esas cabezas suelen salir a unos 89, 90 grados alcohólicos. Ok, just, Insisto, to be, puede... just to be not very technical, but when, when the liquid comes out, um, they come in different Uh, temperature and it also comes out in different alcohol content and it's divided into the heads the hearts and the tails the heads is the poison you know it's usually this it's discarded yeah, because it has it's methanol it has methanol and we know that very well in the philippines about methanol so it's 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 it should not be drank because it's poison and then of course the hearts is where all the beautiful spirit is that's uh, drinkable And then the tails, it can be reused again in the future. So that's how they break down and, and they have to monitor that. So the distiller has to monitor all the different uh, temperature and the, in the alcohol content as it exits. Yeah. Alberto? Exacto. La temperatura, eh, la temperatura y el grado alcohólico es eh, la primera base que nos va a determinar dónde hacemos el corte. Por supuesto, hay un factor muy importante con los cortes, que es el maestro destilador, quien a través del olfato decide eh, cuándo hay que cortar o no. Cuando vale. se pasa de cabezas a, a cuerpo y de cuerpo a colas. Fantastic. Okay. Very good, Alberto. Very good uh, tour. You have a beautiful uh, alambique. See, the good thing here, John Joe, is we're learning mm -hmm. Spanish, right? As yeah. we go along, right? It's weird because I'm Spanish, <laughs> but I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> I see how John laughs when he hears a, a, a word that is the same in Tagalog and Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Like Ventanita, Platos, right? I saw you. <laughs> uh, my, my, my real name is Juanjo, Juan Jose. I'm Spanish, but Juan I don't Jose, speak yeah, Spanish. Exactly. Well, you're learning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm learning. So late. <laughs> You see, there's a very strong relationship, Alberto, with the Philippines <laughs> and Spain, sure. as you can see. I so, know, I know. Super strong. And, and that's so, where, you know, we're very excited to, to do this uh, project in, uh, in Spain, you know. Um, yes. and, and please, can you show us the whole facility? I mean, you can you There's show no, the camera? And I, 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 and I can show you other process or other equipment. I don't know, if you want to see or to check. For yeah, example, those, are, you, those, it, are, it, those it, are in the left. That, that is the uh, fermenters, correct? Where you ferment? Yes. Fr from the first one to the fourth, yes. Yes. These four, yes. These four are for fer fermenter. Okay. Okay. And then can you show uh, us maybe some, some botanicals that you have there? If, if you have uh, botanicals. I have here, but yes, they are no, not good. But no, no, no problem. Have... Just uh, to sample. That is, is juniper. This is an ebro. Yeah, yeah. Juniper. black. In in English, we black. call that juniper berries, and juniper berries um, are basically the base of every gin of every ginebra. Tienes que tener yeah, it, juniper berries. Yes, in in Europe and uh, and Latin is the same. Correct. Uh, this is uh, cilantro. Ah, that's cilantro. Okay, okay. Yeah. This is then, just an example for take a picture. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. And then I understand beside the production area is a bar. Can you show us the beautiful bar? I mean, that's... Yeah, that's we are close, yeah. as you know. I know, yes, of course, yes. But so look I'm, at that. I'm, I'm, yeah. working, I'm working here. <laughs> yeah. That's good, But that's good. 
we hope to open tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, maybe wow. day before. Day That's after, nice. Maybe. It's been it's been too long a vacation for everyone. <laughs> yeah, no, and, and we want the perspective or the 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 show we want to to share with the clients here is when you enter in the in the restaurant or in the bar, for sure we have here our products, but then you can see at the end of the bar the distillery. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's beautiful. So it's a, it's, it's a way to, to have a drink, right? Yeah, exactly. it's a way to to introduce to the people into the uh, <laughs> distilling process. So uh, Alberto, basically, distilla is a school and a production yes. facility. So you teach people how to distill, you know, spirits. Um, you exactly. teach them about distill distillation, and then if they want to come up with their own brand, with their own uh, bottle of gin or whiskey or, or any spirit, they can do it in distilla, correct? Exactly. They can do it with us. Fantastic. And yeah, yeah. So, you know, just like Alvaro, Alvaro, our, our partner in Cruz Iberica, um, we are so happy that uh, we can now bring Cruz Philippines, which is our own Ginebra, and, and, and produce it in Spain for the European market. Well, let's start first with the Spanish market, and then we can think about Europe. Exactly. But uh, yeah, we're very, very excited um, to be uh, partnering with you, Alberto Distilla. I think this is the way forward. And uh, very soon, we should be uh, distilling the Philippine Crow's Gin in, in that specific uh, still right there. It's a pleasure for us also. So, so Alvaro, when is the, the day? When, when can we look forward to distilling Crow's Gin? Well, we're still, um, we're still um, trying and doing tasks to have this exact same product that we have in the U.S. and in the Philippines. And all this um, quarantine has uh, stopped us a little bit. Not stop, just uh, make us slower. But we are still uh, testing and hopefully next month we will be able to start distilling and offering our product here in, in Spain. I'm super, super, really excited of bringing uh, Crows to, to Spain because, well, uh, I've known you, Jose, for, for, for many years. And the second you told me, uh, well, we had this chat before, that you wanted to come to Spain, I was super excited. And I think uh, it's the best idea to bring such a unique and different product here in Spain where the gene market is uh, really, really big. And I think it's a very different product from uh, what we're used to have here in, in Spain. You know, the, the Philippine botanicals that we use in, in crows are not used in any other gene. So the, um, the flavor and the experience that the, um, that the customer will have from trying crows will be uh, something different from all the other genes that he could have uh, tried in, in, you know, in Spain or in, in, in other markets. Yeah, I think this is our way to show what the Philippines can do uh, and what, what the botanicals of the Filipinos have here. And, and to be made in Spain, it's a, good, it's a very good mix for both uh, yes. uh, and, East and, and about, West. About the Stila, uh, I want to say that We've had um, a whole long process of looking for a production partner that could give us what we were looking for, a great facility, um, a philosophy that they share with us in caring about craft and artisanal and, and, and quality processes. And we've um, searched for many ways of doing growth in Spain and definitely the Stila uh, is the best production partner we could have. And we are very happy to, to be working with them. I think we are, the, um, yeah, we are in, the, in the right way. We couldn't find a, a better production team or company to, to start working with for growth in, in Spain. And it's also some kind of a spirit that growth have in the sense of 
bringing the distilling and the brewing processes all around the world, you know? Yes, that's right. That's absolutely yeah. correct. In the beer, you know, we're also doing beer and it's called gypsy brewing. Um, it, in, in America, that's what they call it, gypsy brewing. So this is like gypsy distilling. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's so like using facilities all around yes, the world to yes. distill uh, the yeah. process. It's, so, it's, a, it's a great collaboration. Very, yeah, very exactly. good And they are, they are super, super professional guys. They've been in the industry for... For... For a hundred years, um, maybe. Yeah, for a hundred years. <laughs> Even wow. though the facility is pretty new, they, they've been in the industry for... Since always. And, and they have the, um, the facility, they have the technique, they have the, um, they have the, the knowledge. And oh yeah, the best, uh, you know, the Alvaro, when, we, when we were there in Spain and we met Al Alberto for the first time and we talked about the gin, yes. all the questions, it was, it was so flawless. It was very yeah. easy to work with you because when we develop, we, obviously I have the recipe, we have the Crow's recipe. And when we discussed it with you and, and, and we tried the samples, it was, it was so, I don't know, it was a very good journey in how the experience was in coming up with Crow's Gin. So in Spain for the very first time. So I think, I think that shows the, you know, the experience you have. You guys know what you're doing. Um, you know, you. You know, you've done so many of this for so many years. So it was very easy for me to communicate communicate the the cross uh you know product to you and then for you to replicate it yeah the connection which is really important is uh it's great we understand each other perfectly and and we are developing the process of 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 distilling crows here in spain with uh well there's always uh, up and downs in the process you know but the connection is great and we are both excited for starting uh, distilling the the gin and everything's been great so far and will be in the future. Thank you, Thank you very much for, for your words, Alaro. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. But it's the truth. It's the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Now, as you know, we are always trying to work in, in order to, to, to achieve <clears throat> the best product uh, because, of course, it's your brand, it's your uh, dean, but at the end, it's also my brand in order to to explain to other uh, clients that is here where we do this, uh, this uh, gene. So that's the reason why we always want to work in the best way uh, and always together with the client in order to find the final result um, in, in the same line, at least in the same line that the original product. You know? By the way, you know, I don't know if anyone has told you, Alberto, you speak very good English. <laughs> I, try, I try my best. <laughs> you you probably speak best. better English than my Spanish <laughs> and John Joe's Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> thank yeah. you, thank you. That's good, that's good. So who right. knows, in the future, we will have some other guests and, and hopefully we can have you again. I'm sure a lot of people will have a lot of questions and they mm -hmm. can... They can bring in their questions, right, John? Joe, maybe you can talk yeah. a little bit about how, you know, how this works. Yeah, and I actually have a question that some people might ask. So, um, Curse Gin uses Filipino ingredients. How do the ingredients get to you? Because it's very special. Oh. <laughs> well, that's 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 one of the downs that we had here. One of the <laughs> mm -hmm. some problems we have here hmm. because it's not really easy and. Uh, more in that time uh, mm -hmm. where everything is uh, in lockdown to get the, um, the Filipino botanicals here in Spain. But we've managed so far to do it um, and we will uh, continue doing it. Uh, we're importing all the products, of course. Mm -hmm. They are all vacuum packed and, 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 and fresh. And we are not, ha well, we're, we're having a little bit trouble to bring more but we have uh, enough botanicals for, for a few distills for now. Good. Very good. Okay. I have a follow-up question though. Um, some of the botanicals that we sent you are actually used for cooking. Does Distillera have a, a restaurant? Do you serve food there? Yes. In Distilla? Yes, we do. Yes. There are two botanicals. Uh, there's the Calamansi and then the Sile. 
Have you tried that with food? Not yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we will have to try that. <laughs> you know, John Joe, can you explain? Sile uh, is is you know, our pepper. It's our yes, local our, pepper. Our chili. So it's yeah. it's uh, rather strong. It's a very very strong chili that we serve with calamansi, which is our lemon. It's like our lime. It's our mm. lemon. So you mix uh, the the acid and then the chili and then you put uh, soy sauce or sometimes uh, vinegar. And then it's very, very strong. It's very, very, it's a very Filipino thing to do, to mix those two botanicals. So if you want to so try, we'll, you should try the... Yeah, yeah the, we will try. <laughs> Alvaro, we, maybe we can, we can put a Filipino dish in his uh, restaurant. Yeah, that yes. would be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some Filipino maybe a, other way Stila. to do business. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's no, just, but it's, our chef mm -hmm. is always asking about how we do the product because we uh, he wants to integrate in the in the, in the kitchen, kitchen. Mm -hmm. nice mm -hmm. nice nice so maybe it's a good way to start with uh, with the gene kitchen i don't know how to <laughs> <laughs> we will give him some some filipino botanicals also yeah so because uh, with with, 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 with the chili that we have the the sile sile mm -hmm. labuyo the chili uh, it's very very strong so it's spicy it makes you want to drink more yeah, it will also help the sales of We will try for sure. Yeah, <laughs> we will try. But be careful, it's very strong. It's very okay. strong chili. <laughs> okay. So very good. So what we can do now is uh, maybe in the future, there will be people who will ask questions. They can write us in. Um, we, will, we will present all the information of Distila. Mm -hmm. um, people okay. who may want to reach you, Alberto, who want to have questions, uh, they can contact you directly. We will flash the information. And those who Perfect. have questions about um, crows, um, Iberica, now we're in Europe. Um, who knows where we are going to be next, but uh, we have a lot of work ahead of us. And we're all very excited, and I'm sure all of you are. And yeah, it's, you know, let's just keep moving. Let's not let any virus stop us. <laughs> no, yeah. no way. Yes. We will keep moving for sure. So thank you guys very much thank for joining so much. Crow Stop. Thank you. Um, thank you very and much. And then we will definitely be in touch. And Alberto, we look forward to the to the distillation of Crow in España. So maybe we right. have for process. And then um, Alvaro, you have any other words before we go? Uh, only thing I want to say is um, we are, um, yeah, as you said, we're really, really excited to start producing the gin in, in Spain and bringing it to the bars and the restaurants that want to have growth in their facilities. Um, it's a tough time in Spain. We've been in lockdown for almost two months. Now some of the bars, depending on the province, are reopening. And we really have to support all the the, um, the rest, the bar and restaurants and hotels industry here in Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, tough times are coming, but uh, as we say, we have to keep moving. We have to be optimist and, and keep working. And I think we will overcome this situation as we've overcame many situations uh, during the, our lives. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm really excited to start uh, producing crows in Spain and start distributing it. I think it will be great. People will love it, crows, and hopefully we can do a presentation uh, party in Spain anytime oh, soon. Sure. Absolutely. So we're, we're looking forward to introducing the product to the people and get them to try it. And we'll have a party. It. We'll have a party right there in Distilla. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. Bueno, thank you very much, Alberto, Alvaro, Sanjo. Thank, thank you, you so thank you. much. Thank Cheers you very much. Everyone. Awesome. Thank you, Adios. Bye. Bye. Bye.